Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I want to talk about how to pick out music for your wedding. Hey, my name is Alex Ramey. I'm the owner of DJ Cut Entertainment. In this video, I'm going to go over how to pick out different types of music for different portions of your wedding and understanding how to pick out songs for different parts of the wedding. So let's break it down to the basics. Your wedding is filled full of different events with different emotion levels. Weddings are all about bringing people together for an emotional event. Now throughout the day, we have different levels of emotion and we need to take music that matches the emotion of each of the event. So the ceremony, you have people arriving, and so you're going to want some form of background music. Now you want people to be able to talk and not fight over the music. So the emotion level is going to be like an even five. So we're going to use a scale of from one to 10, 10 being the end of the dance party, and then one being the slow songs. So when we start out with the ceremony, you have the background music. Uh, then we elevate it a little bit when we have the bridal party start walking in. And then we have the bride walking in. So then we're going to elevate the energy for this high moment because everybody's excited to see you. And then after you guys get married, you guys kiss, everybody's cheering. And so the energy level is a little bit higher. So we need to have songs that, you know, match those particular events. There's a lot of times where I get my forms together and songs are backwards. I'll, I'll have the exit song that's not that high energy of a song. So you got to really think when you're picking out songs, songs that you really like and match the energy level of those events. From there, we go into cocktail hour. And so how I tell my clients to pick out music for cocktails, I usually ask for a specific genre, some artist, or a type of music. And cocktails should make you want to snap your fingers, bob your head, you know, not elevator music and not make you dance. So if it makes you dance a little bit too high energy for cocktail, and it's just, it's just good listening music. So that way we can have a conversation side by side. I'm not fighting over the music, um, but there's still background music going on. Um, I have people that tell me that hey, I want to put together the greatest cocktail list. Um, we just need artists in genres because you guys are going to be off doing pictures the whole time. So any songs that are important to you, uh, save them for either dinner, the dance party, or the special dances. Now from here, we're gonna go into the grand entrance. And that's a super highlight. It's like the end of the ceremony or the end of the dance party. The energy level is gonna be very high and there's gonna be a lot of emotion going on during this time because we're formally bringing you back into the party under the new last name. So this is a very, very exciting time. So you need to pick a song that's high energy. Uh, some of the examples are like Bruno Mars, 24 Karat Magic, uh, Black Eyed Peas, I Got a Feeling, stuff like this. That's high energy. People are going to be clapping and singing along and getting excited moving into some of the other events. Now from there, we're going to go way down. We're going to go down to uh, dinner tempo. So this is usually about uh, three or four. It's not really slow songs, but it's an in-between tempo. Uh, some people will do jazz. Some people will do country. Some people will do uh, 50s, 60s, Frank Sinatra for dinner. And I also tell people to use dinner music, maybe a genre that you don't particularly like as much, but some of your older guests, grandmas, aunts, and uncles will really enjoy that. And it's all about during the day. You want to incorporate everybody that's at your wedding. The more people that can have fun at your wedding, um, the, the more that they're just going to have a great time. You know, you can't you can't hit the music for the young kids and the grandma and grandpas all at the same time all night long. So try to include everybody at different portions of the evening. And dinner is a good time to reach some of those people that have those off ball or odd requests that maybe you're not really excited about to play, but you still want to include them. So from there, we're going to go into the cutting of the cake, which is just like a form of background music. It can be a little bit higher energy. It's just so we have no dead air while you guys are doing that event, because it is a challenge depending on where the cake is to bring you from the cutting of the cake 
over to the dance floor. From there, we're going to have, you know, the first dance, the father, daughter, the mother, son, and those are going to be all slow songs, very emotional songs, but also can be very fun. It just depends on the direction you want to go. I've done it before where we do the father, daughter dance. It starts out with a slow song and then it goes into something high energy that was a good memory from their childhood. So it really just depends on what you want to do. Now, from there is the start of the dance party. And for me, this is a very key point of the wedding. I do a little game. I pick out some songs and get everybody involved, interacting, and I get the energy pretty high. Let's just say about a seven. I want to start my dance parties about a seven. I don't want to try to melt people out of the building off the get-go and just play all these good songs and then three or four songs into it, you know, they're burnout. out. So then I build them up. And then by the end of the evening, we're at that peak 10, everybody... It's had a little bit of alcohol, hopefully, and everybody's singing along, dancing, uh, hands up in the air. And so my approach when it comes to uh, weddings and the dance party, I'm playing music that's edited. It needs to be 80% of the guests better know the words to sing along. Now, I don't care if that's something like Cool in the Gang or something that's new on the radio, if it's a Lizzo song. 80 to 90% of the people better know the words to sing along and I better get some good reaction and some good energy uh, going back and forth. If people don't know the words, then I'm probably not going to play it as much unless it's on your request list. So in our forums, you get to pick out all the music for the ceremony, the reception, and the dance party. Now, when it comes to picking out songs for special events, I know this can be a challenge. That's why on our website, under our music tab, we've created a bunch of different lists depending on what you need songs for. So we have songs for the ceremony, uh, for the reception, the special dances, cutting of the cake, uh, grand entrance, uh, song suggestions for the dance party, what songs are trending. And so this really helps alleviate the stress when it comes to picking out some of your music for your dance party. Because to me, the, the music is a very small portion I think emceeing is way more important in keeping your events moving. I mean, that's the point of hiring a DJ. You want them to pick out some of the music to alleviate some of the stress from your day. You have so many other things you guys need to think about, and you can focus on more on the important things where you let the DJ focus on the timeline, the emceeing, and the music selection. Thank you guys very much. My name is Alex Ramu with DJ Cut Entertainment. Thank you for watching. <laughs>